This is a J Mix exclusive. He said, go to the office tomorrow. And then still, I ain't spit. Go to the office. I go and there'd be a check there again. It'd be a check there again. He did about three times. So now this is really getting good, you know. So I'm just there writing and doing. But what happened with the, the Kevin thing, one day, early on, I had talked to, Sugar was talking to me. He said, man, how come, uh, who you know up here? How'd you, he said, man, I said, well, man, uh, my boy Chuck brought me but I've been writing for Kevin, you know. He said, you've been writing for Kevin? I said, uh, yeah, man, uh, the stuff for CG and emotions and all that, I was, I've been writing for him. He said, you've been writing for, you writing that stuff? And I said, yeah, yeah, I've been writing. He bring me in the room, give me the tracks and I write. And uh, he said, he said she was liking my stuff and everything. Man, he called Kevin. This is when I first saw Shug's power. He, you know, you remember Kevin about six three, six two, six three, and he was a heavy guy, not fat or anything, but he was a bulky guy. Yeah. And um, Kevin called him, called me back. He called me first back to the, to Shug Knight's office, right? And he called Kevin. He said, "Tell somebody, tell Kevin to come back here now." Kevin came back there. He said, Kevin, this is my boy D, right? He said, yeah, no, I know, uh, sure, we've been, he, he said, uh, he said he'd been writing, uh, yeah, I was gonna let you know, Suge, and I was gonna, he, he said, you've been telling him that, 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 uh, that I'm excited about him, and woo, -woo. he said, uh, when Kevin tried to explain it, he said, man, shut up, stand in the corner, stand in the corner. He made him stand in the corner. And I'm watching all of this. And he and, and Kevin's trying to talk. But Shug, but Shug, man, stand in that corner. And and uh I, I right then I was like, oh my God. It's like he's a five-year-old. Man. I said, oh my God. Stand in the corner. He said, man, um, we're gonna do some business now. Woo woo, he's talking to me or whatever like that. And uh and, and it, to me, it's a little bit of relief off too, because all that it confirmed that Suge really didn't know about me. Like he was really using me. You know, he was using like petty cash that was in the drawer to buy me lunch and stuff like that. But there was no, you know, I don't believe that Kevin was going to be a. I I believe he was being crooked. I don't think he was going to give me the credit that I had coming. I think. It, he felt like if he throw me something here and there or whatever, that would have been enough or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, like, just keep it real, there was a lot of people running around with, that, that was doing work, that, it, it, all they got was a gold chain here and there and something or, you know, or rent or, or a car, because he had access to all these cars, uh, Shug, and um, so people were running around with cars really that belonged to Shug, you know. So some people did stuff for just that, and I think, uh, Kevin was following suit in his level, like learn how to use these little guys, get, you know, get where you're getting and use other people to uh, really to me, I don't believe that um, I would have got treated even half as right as I did in the end if everything didn't blow up from death row. I don't believe that it was that it was uh, Shills and Nimmer's intention to really pay us right. I don't. I still don't believe that. I believe by everything messing up the way it did and um, should going to prison and all these things like that, I think everybody else had to handle what the business that they had to handle and everybody else went and got lawyers so things ended up getting handled the right way. It brought lawyers in and things like that. But I think uh, Tyrone and I would have got cars and a chain or some dollars here or whatever like that, but nothing like our publishing really coming right or anything. I don't, I really don't believe that we were 
$1, singled $1, out. $1, huh? What's a thousand dollars? Yeah. We're talking about royalties, you know, ten. That's what I'm saying. But what's ten or thirty thousand dollars? If you talk, you, my first check from death, my first check from Machiavelli was two hundred and sixty-nine thousand. That was my first check from Machiavelli. So, um, I know I don't believe I would have saw anything close to that. Maybe a fifty thousand dollar check, a thirty thousand dollar check, a chain, a car, you know, a uh, 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 paid for my apartment and stuff like that. You know, something like that. A paid for a place. You know.